The Justice Department has filed a major antitrust lawsuit against Apple, accusing the tech giant of engaging in anti-competitive behavior to protect its smartphone monopoly and boost profits. According to the suit filed in New Jersey, Apple allegedly manipulated app development rules and iPhone features, such as iMessage and Apple Wallet, to limit competition and charge higher prices. Attorney General Merrick Garland said Apple's actions not only broke federal law, but also forced consumers to pay more. We allege that Apple has consolidated its monopoly power, not by making its own products better, but by making other products worse. For consumers, that has meant fewer choices, higher prices and fees, lower quality smartphones, apps and accessories, and less innovation from Apple and its competitors. Among the issues raised in the government's 88-page complaint were Apple's restrictions on super apps, messaging functionality, and the exclusive use of tap to pay with Apple Wallet. Our case, as I mentioned before, focuses on the Apple's core monopoly, which is the iPhone. We have focused on a pattern of conduct that goes back over a decade that Apple's engaged in in order to reinforce its monopoly power by excluding rivals, by excluding technologies and stifling innovations that would threaten Apple's stranglehold on its monopoly power. 15 states and the District of Columbia joined the federal government's lawsuit. In response, Apple defended its practices, arguing the lawsuit misunderstands its business and could negatively impact its ability to create integrated products.